So let's now start Fireplotter. To connect Fireplotter to your firewall, we need to select the type of firewall we're connecting to. That's a Cisco ASA or PIX firewall or a Fortinet FortiGate firewall. The protocol we're going to connect with using Secure Shell or Telnet, although we always recommend you use Secure Shell as it is more reliable and more secure. Uh, the port number we're connecting to and the IP address of the firewall we're connecting to. The login credentials that we're using. And then we can either click on connect with the mouse or we can hit the enter key. Now when I do press connect you can look in the status bar at the bottom here and watch the connection and authentication process going on. So let's just do that. Here we go. Authenticating. And we're connected. Very good. So what we can see here is we are now connected and recording this firewall. This is the host name of the firewall, the IP address, the model of the firewall and the version of software running on there. We can also see that we've been recording the session now for 23 seconds and we're going to go into more detail but these are the sessions going through showing you the session table and here are the graphs showing you the inbound and the outbound traffic and we'll be exploring this in much more detail in later sections.